Hey all, I've had some questions around quadratic rewards, uh, what they were, what that meant. So I'm just going to quickly run through the differences, I guess, between what we have now and what we had, just so it makes a bit more sense for those who weren't around for it. So we've got post payout here and voting power here. As people upvote with different weights, some big, some little, the payout goes up. Now at the moment, it's a straight line. So you know that for a given amount of steam power, you've got X amount of steam power, you have a 30 cent upvote. And that's true whether the post is tiny or whether the post is huge or somewhere in the middle, you know that you can upvote it 100% and it's gonna go up 30 cents. That's just a, 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 a something that you can rely on. Now, it wasn't always this way before Hard Fork 19, we had something called quadratic rewards, which was a very different, that's not too bad, very different kettle of fish. So this figure here at any point in time would be times by itself to give this figure here. Um, so obviously it would, it would build then, there'd be momentum um, because as this doubled, this would quadruple, hence the quadratic rewards. So somebody with five, um, somebody upvotes to the value of five, that five would be times by itself, and you get 25. Somebody with 10 has twice as much voting power, but they have four times as much influence over the payout figure. A lot of people said that's not fair. Um, I'd say it's probably a good incentive to keep buying steam power. The more you have, the more you benefit from new uh, steam power. A lot of people said that's unfair, and we switched to the linear reward model. There's a couple of, I guess, consequences of quadratic voting that maybe aren't immediately apparent, um, but were, I think, for the good of the system, of the, of the ecosystem. A lot of the posts that we're seeing at the moment are sort of around this area here, obviously getting a lot of upvotes. This gets harder as time goes by, you do, to, that your post will be worth more and more upvotes. You've got some friends and family, maybe you're in a few voting groups, voting circles. You can hit here fairly easily, and maybe you just do this three or four times, and you'll make a few dollars each time, and it becomes almost a, like a factory mentality. And that's kind of a lot of what's going on at the moment now, and a lot of people have seen that and they complain about that. So this is, I think, a, a consequence of the linear reward model that we've got going on. It gets quite hard, and the rewards are better, but maybe not necessarily worth all of the extra effort that it takes to really get all that voting power. Whereas under quadratic rewards, it wouldn't be worth writing a post that would only get a few upvotes. There'd be no, there'd be no point. You'd, and I remember this, you would essentially, sure you've got some friends who might like to upvote you, but they would know that there's really no point unless it's a good quality article that is possibly heading this way, in which case then they're going to do it largely for the curation rewards. So I guess under quadratic rewards, you would be voting for a post that you thought was going to do really well, whereas now we vote for posts that we think should do really well, whether they're friends, whether we like them, whatever the reason, we're, I guess, supporting posts here, whereas back here we were investing in posts. We were saying, I think this post is going to go to get more upvotes, so it's not a, it's not a waste for me to upvote it here, because, yeah, I'm only giving it three cents, but I'm sending it on its path. I'm giving it some momentum, towards this. And then of course, you know, if you get a post up here, the curation rewards are sort of, you know, a quarter of that. That becomes a decent chunk of curation rewards available to the people who upvoted early. But of course, if the quality is not there, there's no point in doing the upvote. So I think the posts, the quality of the posts were before linear rewards, they were much better. And I think most people agree with that. They were much better because people would only write a post if they thought it would get out to here. And it's worth, okay, I think it's gonna to get to here, but I'm gonna spend another hour on it just tweaking it because I'd much rather it got to here or here. So the more effort and time that you put into the post, the better the chance that you would really get that, get that, um, get that drive. So there was a few other, I guess, issues. One was that people obviously said, well, a whale can, can drive us up to here. So he's gonna get his friends 
right up here and it's still not fair, which is definitely true. However, one consequence of quadratic voting is that you're, as much as you're knowing that you're always worth 30 cents under linear, with quadratic voting, your voting power is worth more the bigger the post is. So over here, a post that's huge, even though you only have a little bit of voting power, it might be worth $3. Down here, three cents. So it's a it's an extreme. A tiny post, three cents. Huge post, three dollars. As opposed to linear, which is thirty cents, regardless. Now that means if you see a whale has upvoted something that's low quality, then you and a hundred other people will all, rather than upvoting themselves three cents, it's kind of pointless. And I'm going to give that to a mate. Not going to give it to myself, but I can downvote. This one by three dollars just by this i can chop him down from here to here see and of course if enough people decide that this is not worth the reward it only takes a quarter of this voting power that was with this voting power driving it up to here in order to halve that that take home you only need a quarter of the voting power down voting that post so you get one big whale it's all well and good but if 30, 40, 50 people with smaller stakes, even if it's only three cents at the lower end, all decide that, hey, it's not worth it, then they can really pile on. And I think incentive-wise, a lot of people look at it as um, uh, like tragedy of the commons, you know. If you say, this guy really doesn't deserve it, but my 30 cent down vote's not gonna do him much damage, I may as well just upvote myself or my friend 30 cents. This kind of answers that. Because most people will say, well, look, I'd rather have a, a $3 effect on the reward pool than a three cent effect on the, on the reward pool. So there's a lot to it. That's a brief overview. Uh, let us know in the comments how you feel. Do you think this was the right way to go? Um, is there something I've missed or should have touched on? Um, yeah, just a, a bit of a, an explainer for those who weren't aware. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.